glossy black cockatoos have a wide distribution across eastern Australia and sometimes occur in the same areas as other species of black cockatoo. In this video, Glossy Black Conservancy's Dr Daniela Texera, a researcher specialising in this species, helps us understand how to identify glossy black cockatoos from red-tailed and yellow-tailed black cockatoos. Data about glossy black cockatoos and their feed trees are vital for planning bushfire recovery and conservation work. When it comes to identifying glossy black cockatoos, there are a few key things to look out for. The most important is the colour of the tail feathers. So glossy black cockatoos have red in their tails. The only other species of black cockatoo that has red in their tails is the red-tailed black cockatoo. The other black cockatoo that you might come across is the yellow-tailed black cockatoo, but they have a really light yellow colouring in their tail panels. Yellow-tailed black cockatoos are one of the more common black cockatoo species that you'll see on the east coast of Australia. They sometimes occur in large flocks um, and they do occur in urban areas as well. So you might actually see them in your backyard or if you're going out for a walk. They have a really distinctive vocalisation. It's quite a wailing kind of sound. And it's one of the key things that you can listen out for to distinguish them from other black cockatoo species. Male and female yellowtail black cockatoos look quite similar to each other. The way that you can distinguish males and females of yellowtail black cockatoos is the pink eye ring around the male's eyes. Otherwise, it's really hard to tell the males and females apart. Yellowtail black cockatoos have a really distinctive yellow cheek patch and that's pretty consistent between individuals. So if you see a group of black cockatoos, they have a wailing kind of high pitched vocalisation and all the individuals have a clear yellow cheek patch, that's probably going to be a yellow-tailed black cockatoo. To distinguish between red-tailed black cockatoos and glossy black cockatoos, there are a couple of things to easily look out for. Red-tailed black cockatoos look more similar to glossy black cockatoos than other species. They are also all black and have red in their tail feathers. That's why they're called red-tailed black cockatoos. The males look very similar to glossy black cockatoo males. They don't have much patterning on their body. They have these solid red tail feathers but the females look very different to female glossy black cockatoos. Female red-tailed black cockatoos have lots of spots all over their body. They're an absolutely beautiful species of bird. In their tails, they have red with black barring across their tail feathers. Glossy black cockatoo females also have red tail feathers with black barring through them. There might be some orange and some yellow in their tail feathers as well, but glossies don't tend to have lots of spots all over their bodies. The females have really patchy and random yellow feathers across their face. If you see black cockatoos in the wild and you're wondering whether it's a glossy black cockatoo or a red-tailed black cockatoo, take a look at the females. That's really going to be the easiest way for you to distinguish between the two species. Unlike red-tailed black cockatoos, glossies have a really small crest. So all cockatoos do have a crest, which means that they can stick up their feathers on their head but glossy black cockatoos are noticeably smaller. Glossy black cockatoos are she-oak specialists. That's all they eat. So if you see some black cockatoos feeding on she-oak trees, it's probably going to be a glossy black cockatoo. Other black cockatoo species are more general in what they feed on. So red-tailed black cockatoos will feed on a range of different things, as will yellow-tailed black cockatoos. In fact, yellow-tailed black cockatoos will often be found feeding on pine plantations. You'll never see a glossy feeding on pine. So if you come across a group of black cockatoos in a pine plantation or feeding on a eucalypt, it's not gonna be a glossy black cockatoo. Glossy black cockatoos tend to occur in small flocks. You'll often find just the pair, the male and female pair, perhaps a trio, which is the two parents and their dependent fledgling. And sometimes you'll find small flocks, say up to 10 birds. 
It's pretty rare to see big flocks of glossy black cockatoos. There's a few exceptions though. If there's a group of sub-adult males, they might actually flock together in larger flocks. And also, if there's a good drinking place, you'll see a whole range of birds coming down. And that might be a meeting point for different trios, different pairs, and even some individual sub-adults as well. So sometimes, very occasionally, you might see flocks of up to say 30 birds at a drinking site. This is different to other black cockatoo species though, like yellow-tailed black cockatoos and red-tailed black cockatoos, which you'll more commonly find in large, noisy flocks. Gang gang cockatoos are another species of cockatoo that you might get confused with glossy black cockatoos. Gang gang cockatoos are a small species of cockatoo that are found in southeastern Australia. They're a lot smaller than other black cockatoo species that you'll come across. Gang gang cockatoos are a blackish grey colour all over their bodies, but the adult males have bright pink feathers all over their head, so it's really easy to distinguish them from other cockatoo species. Gang gang cockatoos give a range of vocalizations and the most common one that you'll hear is what we call this creaking gate call. So it's quite a soft call, it sounds really creaky and it's a key way to know that there's gang gangs in the area. 